Welcome back to my channel. I'm off to another adventure. I'm heading over to Shushwap Lake. And I'll do a couple of nights of camping there. It should be a lot of fun. So I'll take you guys along with me as always. And if you like this video and all of my content, uh, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Thanks guys. So I thought I'd take a little bit of a pit stop here. This beautiful river, I'm not sure the name of it. But it never ceases to amaze me how beautiful my backyard is. I just happened to drive past this and it's just so quiet out here, it's very peaceful. But uh, yeah, I'm about Two and a half hours, three hours from my destination, so hopefully I find some other beautiful places like this along the way.
So I finally made it to this small town, which is called Enderby. And as you can see, all the canoes in behind me, those are going to be getting ready for tomorrow morning for the canoe journey. You can also see this beautiful facility I just ate there. They had mashed potatoes and ham and a bunch of other great food. So in behind me here is a large field and that's where all the tents are being set up. So there's a total of 500 people that are in attendance and it should be a lot of fun. So it'll be pretty exciting tomorrow during the day when they get the canoes in the water and everyone starts to canoe and get to their destination. So really excited about that. Should be a lot of fun. So this is the field in behind me where all the tents are set up. Should be about 500 people as what I'm told for this event. And like I said, it happens every year. So it's called the Canoe Journey. It's an indigenous event. My tent unfortunately is in one of the hot zones. You know, today's about 32 degrees Celsius. I'll give that to you guys in Fahrenheit. But should have a restful sleep. I've got my Bluetooth headphones, so no issues for me. What's up guys? So I'm heading over to Belvedere Park. That's where all the canoes are going to be launched from. So it should take me about three to five minutes to get out there and I'm going to set up my kayak and get my video gear set up and get out on the water. Should be fun. <laughs> you know camera. <laughs> He's all <tough. laughs> Good boy, Baxter. Give me a Baxter. Good boy. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is my inflatable kayak here. It's uh, called a Hydro Force. I got it from a European company online. I'll put the link in the description. And I've had it for just over a year now and I absolutely love this. It works really well. It's not too teetery. It's quite balanced. 
it is narrow, but it, it works very well. So, Hydro Force. Good job, guys. Good, just floating. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the day, guys. That was so awesome. So much fun. <laughs> I gotta say that was probably one of the coolest things that I've done doing that uh, pull together canoe journey so much fun and just seeing all those teams work together cohesively in the canoes it was pretty exciting to watch if anybody is interested in doing that I strongly suggest looking some information up about the pull together canoe journey and uh, what an experience. It's the first time I've had that experience, so pretty amazing. And you really can't beat views like this, now can you? So, I've got one more night here and then I head home tomorrow early in the morning. And then of course I'll bring you guys along with me on my next journey. Thanks for watching guys.